to start today's episode, it's Peking Duck with Tomato Salsa. Peking duck is one of those difficult things to do at home, which is why most people buy Peking duck already prepared. And the good thing is you can buy just the breast, so that's what I'm going to use today to make a Peking duck and tomato salad. I'm adding a few extra little flavours to the tomato. I'm going to use some chorizo, the oil that comes out of chorizo, which mainly is flavoured by garlic and paprika and a little bit of soy. I'm, going to, I'm also going to use salt, but I'm going to add some soy to add a depth of umami to my tomato salad. The first thing I need to do is render out those flavours from my chorizo. So I've got one chorizo sausage. Just cut it into rounds. And we're going to eat the chorizo as well, so that will be mixed in with the salad. So it's not just the oil we're trying to get out. So having nice rounds creates a really sort of nice textural piece of chewy chorizo that goes really well with the soft tomatoes. I'm going to slowly bring the heat into the pan and extract a lot of that um, flavour out of our chorizo. Oil in with that. About a quarter of a cup of oil because we're going to use that oil as our dressing for our tomatoes. Now that's going to cook away for about 10 to 15 minutes on a low heat and it will start to crisp up a little bit. The outsides will go nice and golden brown. And then at the end, we're going to throw in some sliced garlic and turn the heat off, just for that garlic to infuse into the oil. While that's happening, I can cut up my tomatoes. So I've got different sizes here. I've got small black Russians, or tomatoes, as they're known, and bigger ones. So these ones, little cherry ones, cherry tomatoes, I'm just going to chop them in half. So for my larger ones, just chop them in half and then just sort of roll chop your tomato into some different shapes just to make it a little bit more interesting. And then once I'm done chopping my tomatoes, I'm going to do the same thing. Well, not exactly the same. I'm not going to roll chop, but some spring onion. I'm just going to slice that up as well. Reasonably chunky. I don't want really sort of thin slices. About one centimetre to two centimetre pieces of spring onion, just on an angle. So this is a nice chunky salad. So everything now is pretty much set. I can let my chorizo do its thing for about 10 to 15 minutes. While that's cooking away, I'll get my um, Peking duck into the oven. Just need to take it out of this packaging, put it into an oven at 190 degrees, skin side up, for about 10, 10 to 15 minutes. I've just turned my chorizo off, so I just want to put, it's a pretty big clove of garlic, probably two cloves of garlic if they're not massive like this one is. Slice it thinly, and while there's still heat in that pan, this will just infuse that garlic flavour into that oil. Pop that in. Then some of the cooking juices that have come out of the, the packet of that Peking duck, I just want to put a couple of spoons of that in there. It's going to help make our dressing or our sauce. And just mix that all in together. And that'll melt into that oil. Done. My tomatoes can go into a bowl with my spring onions and some parsley. You want a sort of a big handful of parsley. Just roll it into like a cigar. And run your knife through it. It's always best to do this with a really sharp knife as well. Otherwise, you end up just bruising all of your herbs. What you don't want is you don't want your board to start going green. If your board starts going green, it means you're smashing the herbs and all that chlorophyll that's in there is coming out onto your board and you want that to stay in the herbs so they stay nice and fresh. Give that a stir. So all we need to do now is wait for that duck to finish. It's got probably five more minutes. Keep my sauce nice and warm. I'm going to add a little bit of um, soy sauce to that. So we've got five more minutes to go. Our dressing is done. Our tomatoes are ready. Our duck's got five more minutes so we can bring that out and carve it up and we're ready to serve the dish up. 
Dressing is still warm, but it's cooled down enough for us to move on now. Now, big pinch of salt in with my tomatoes. Salt loves tomatoes. My dressing and my chorizo, just pour it in on top of that tomato mix. Let it stir through. Look at that. All covered in that beautiful dressing. Everything still looks nice and vibrant and crisp and plump and beautiful. Started to warm through. My duck can come out. Turn my oven off. So that's been in for 15 minutes. Duck breast is perfect. Just take them out and pop them in pan. Yeah. It smells so good in here. I put down some of your tomato mix into your bowl. All that juice as well. Oh. My duck. Oh, look how tender that is. Duck on top of that. Little pinch of salt on top of my duck. And then some of the dressing that's in the bottom of this bowl. Just spoon some of that on the top of your duck. There we go, a perfect duck dinner or even lunch, I reckon, at this uh, lunchtime on a beautiful day with a glass of white wine or even a beer would be absolutely divine. It's nice and healthy, it's going to be filling, it's going to taste fresh, you're going to get that beautiful gamey flavour from the duck. And like I said before, normally peaking duck is quite, quite time consuming. This comes together in 15 minutes, so it's a nice, simple, easy dish which is going to taste like you put a lot more effort in. Give it a try.